This is when it really gets tense. Only four teams remain in the biggest club competition in the world, and we're not far away from kickoff in the first leg. It's Manchester City, they face Atletico Madrid, and it's coming your way next on EA TV. Good evening and welcome. There's so much to be enthused about going into tonight's contest here at the home of Manchester City. I'm Derek Ray, your match commentator, and alongside providing all the tactical and technical analysis, it's Stuart Robson. And on the menu, action from Europe's Premier Club competition, the Champions League. This the first leg of the semi-final. It is Manchester City against Atletico Madrid. Well, Derek, it could be cagey and it could be tight, but we've got some of the best players on view here and they'll want to show just how good they really are. I can't wait for this tie to start. starting players for Manchester City. Ederson gets the nod in goal. Joao Cancelo starts with Kyle Walker as fullbacks. Kevin De Bruyne plays with Rodri in central midfield. And rather than use a strike partnership, they've gone with just the one player in attack. starters for Atletico. Jan Oblak stands between the posts. Stefan Savic starts with Jose Maria Jimenez in the centre of defence. And the tactical configuration has two players in attack from the very outset. And underway now in this Champions League semi-final first leg. Koke's lost the ball. And he read it well defensively. Relentless high pressing. And good pressure high up the pitch. Is it going to be? And a fine stop. Oh, good looking run. Well, how close was that? Inches away. Well, he's a true magician with the ball at his feet, Joao Felix. Stuart, what do you think we might see from him in this match? Well, three goals in the last oh, three Oh, they games. could be in here, Stuart. Well, he was on his own, but couldn't take advantage of it. Well, I'm not surprised he missed that. He never really looked in complete control, did he? Herrera. Marcos Llorente. Now Correa. Suarez. And now Correa. And this situation could be dangerous. Well, negligent in front of goal. No two ways about that. This looks promising. Space and time for the cross. Will he finish? And a goal! The opening statement of this semi-final. How important can that prove to be?
Well, here's the replay, and what a well-delivered cross this is. Perfectly placed, and then the finish is fairly simple in the end. That's a good goal. underway, 1-0 it is <laughs> Felix splendid defending and it needed to be not to be advised giving the ball away in that position and the counter looks on here options available all hands on deck Bernardo Silva waiting in the middle. Oh, that is a majestic goal! Volleyed home with precision and style. Superbly done. Well, let's see this again. This is counter-attacking football at its very best. And the finish is clinical. It just makes it look so easy, doesn't it? Well, a second goal for them here. Herrera. Well, they're eyeing that final pass, you just feel. And just like that, they don't have the ball anymore. A bit of running room now on the wing. Sterling ready. Well, a really good idea, but missing by a large margin. Herrera. Koke. On the ball, Joao Felix. Excellent vision. Well, it looked as though he might be on to something, but his timing left a bit to be desired. Yeah, that's frustrating, because he's just been too impatient there. He doesn't need to make his movement quite so early. Possession one. Has eyes for goal. Well, I must admit, it didn't trouble the keeper to the extent that I thought it might. Pressing high to win the ball. And a good-looking ball. But at one point on its flight, I wondered if the keeper would have difficulties, but no problems in the end. City pushing forward with options available. And he read it really well. Fine save. Corner kick played in. Well, no end product. Well, a shot from miles out. Well, no degree of difficulty for the goalkeeper. Herrera. Tackling and winning the ball to boot. And a little too close to the keeper in the end. Joao Felix and given away by Atletico De Bruyne De Bruyne Jan Oblak fantastic between the posts well that's the kind of play you want from your defender Herrera a move of promise on the flank. Here's Hector Herrera. Now Correa. Well, couldn't keep it.
Well denied by the keeper, but really he only has himself to blame. And so the half-time whistle is sounded here in Manchester. Well, it's no great surprise. We sort of expected this. Kevin De Bruyne really prospering in this game, Stuart. Well, he's been a joy... Second half of this Champions League semi-final first leg underway. And good work from Atletico to win the ball back. He's got space. And players waiting at the far post. Well, here's the replay, and it all starts off with that cross into the box, just begging for a teammate to get on the end of it. And then the finish is fairly simple in the end. That's a good goal. The game continues then, and it's been all City. Well, it's a really poor challenge. Now, what's the referee going to do about it? Well, the card is out, and it's yellow. Yeah, it's clumsy, and it's late. Definitely a yellow card. Looked promising, but the danger has been averted. Poor attempt at a pass, really. Bernardo Silva distributing intelligently. And he takes it away. And with that, the attack fizzles out. Bernardo Silva sliding it through. De Bruyne at the ready. It comes to absolutely nothing. Now can they counter clinically? Jimenez. Koke with it. And Atletico get the advantage from the referee. And a big moment because the referee has pointed to the spot. Penalty coming up. Well, he's also showing him the yellow card. Yeah, he had to make the challenge, but it was always going to be risky, and so it proved. Well, here it is again. The keeper tries to read the penalty, but in the end, he just makes no effort whatsoever. That's a strange decision. No shortage of goals in this match. 3-1. Luis Suarez. Suarez. Well, he has the measure of his opponent. And Edison has somehow kicked it out. <laughs> A 
And over comes the corner. Well, no damage done. Really a very poor ball. And he might be through here. Will he? Again there to intercept. Mares. And offside it is. It is an Atletico substitution. De Powell. Savage now. Good tackle. Considerable progress made by Gundogan as the attack continues. Oh, he's missed, but by a minuscule margin. Well, he couldn't have made better contact than that. His technique is brilliant. He's so unlucky there. Savage. De Powell. Carrasco. And he's taken it away. Well, that pass easy on the eye. Now he's got to stay calm. It's opened up for him. Oh, tremendous goal! Technical excellence to finish that one off. Wonderful to have that in your repertoire. Well, just look at this again. The speed of counter-attack is so impressive, and the finish is clinical. It just makes it look so easy, doesn't it? Goals in plentiful supply. 4-1 currently. Into the advanced position. Antoine Griezmann waiting. Foiling them effectively. Couldn't put it away. Offside, however. Well, he'll certainly be pleased to see the flag go up there because that was a poor miss. And Manchester City will go to their bench. Fernandinho Foden Good technique displayed Sterling ready Well, here's the replay, and it all starts with the delivery into the box. Just begging someone to get on the end of it. And the finish is just as good. That's an excellent goal. Well, if there were any lingering doubts about the outcome, surely they now have been removed. Savage. Correa. Cutting in. What can he do from this position? Still possibilities. Well, the goalkeeper got there in the end. Well, his recovery is brilliant here. So athletic. The electronic board has been held in the air, and we're going to have a minimum of four added minutes. Sterling crossing, and he's clear his lines. Now far from a smooth challenge. Now will the referee produce a card? 
and he does produce the yellow card. Yeah, and it certainly deserved a yellow. It's a poor challenge, you have to say. Well, you have to categorise that as a missed opportunity. time then and the lead belongs to Manchester City after 90 minutes yeah and what a performance it was you can see the confidence in these players the belief has been growing with every game this tie is not over yet but they must know barring a major upset they're just 90 minutes away from the final now well it really is wonderful to watch Raheem Sterling when he's on top of his game and that has certainly been the case here Stuart well, what more could you ask for? His build-up play was clever, his movement was dynamic, and he scored a couple of goals. 